So, who wants to go hang out with Arya Talok? I imagine that was the line that was kind of pitched when it came to the idea of how you basically kind of summarize or nutshell this DLC. It's like, hey, you want a DLC where you get to hang out with Arya Talok? <laughs> That's basically what this is. Now, obviously, there's a bit more to it than that. You know, we're going to, we're going to get to go back to uh, one of the more interesting and cooler locations in Mass Effect 2. We're going to get to take on Cerberus again, and one of their secretive top uh, leaders uh, that we never heard about. But then again, Arya is going to tell us uh, later that uh, he was actually quite uh, a secret kept by the elusive man. You know, you'll hear it uh, when we go to meet her in just a moment here. But, um, of course, they almost try and portray him, well, I guess one of the, how many of you can think of, like, in fictional settings, um, military leaders that are portrayed as, like, tactical geniuses? Like, when it comes to, like, tactics and strategy, like, they are just fantastic. And, of course, they play chess, because... Of course they would. If they're someone who's good at tactics and strategy, why wouldn't they play chess, right? <laughs> um, this DLC, to me, is... It's okay. It, it's it's kind of fun for the gameplay side. And yeah, we get to hang out with Arya. We also finally get, for the first time in this series, get to encounter a female Turian. Now, unfortunately, she doesn't get to stick around. And I was hoping she would become, like, maybe a new squad mate. She gets to hang out in the Normandy, talk with Garrus... Who knows? But no, she does not uh, become a squad mate. That would get uh, fixed in Andromeda, but still. It was just kind of like, oh. Like, that was one of the things I was hoping for because it was actually one of the things they advertised about this DLC. It's like, hey, you're finally going get to gonna get to see a female Turian because we've never seen one before. So, But yeah, the big thing about this DLC is, hey, you get to spend a lot of time with Arya Talok. And... I've said this before, I'll just go ahead and say it one more time, that uh, I really enjoy Carrie Ann Moss's performance as Arya Talok, uh, because I think it's a much more entertaining and fun role for her than any time she played Trinity in the mass in the uh, the Matrix movies. Now, for the record, I have not seen the latest one. My dad ha has. He said he, he enjoyed it, but at the same time, I'm not exactly too eager to go see it myself, because my interest in the Matrix movies basically was is over like I, like I have hardly any desire to go see them again but I will acknowledge that you know it's like oh hey they got them to come back that's cool but who knows maybe they actually got to let her act in this latest one because at times she just kind of seemed bored or boring but maybe that was the direction uh on the you know at fault there compared to here where it seems like Carrie Ann Moss is actually having a fun time playing a character like Arya Talok. She becomes a very interesting character that I'm I'm sure quite a few players uh, like uh, because of the personality and the way Carrie Ann Moss plays her. So, yeah. As I said also, once you start this DLC, you basically have to commit to it because then there's no way to back out of it until you finish it. So once we go and do this, we're going to be stuck on Omega for a, for a while until we actually finish it and take it back for her. So. Alright. So they wanted us to meet her at a separate dock. Are you Bray? Uh, the great Commander Shepard. <laughs> and me without my autograph book. Save it. Just take me to Aria. Woo! Where's my autograph book? Those of you who have seen the old Power Rangers movie, you'll get that reference. So where is she? Shepard. Hop in, girl. We're going shopping. <laughs> Dramatic. 
There are too many eyes and ears in purgatory. Aria? Dramatic? No. I assume this is about retaking Omega. This is about your war, Shepard. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships. We're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. Don't know him. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. So yeah, that's the explanation there as to why we had never heard of this guy back in the second game, because apparently he was the best kept secret of the elusive man, as Arya just put it. Okay, sure. And again, she said, top military strategist. And I find myself wondering, were they trying to maybe portray this guy as, say, and forgive me if this is wrong, because as much as of a Star Wars fan as I am, there's quite a bit of the extra material of Star Wars I have not uh, been seeing or following, such as uh, the books and uh, some of the uh, shows that have been going on lately. And I'm mainly referring to Admiral Thrawn. Now, if any of you watching know the character of Admiral Thrawn and how they portrayed him as such better, uh, well, uh, forgive me if that comparison seems uh, poor or just not great, but uh, from what I heard about Admiral Thrawn's character, I was thinking, hmm, I wonder if that's what they were trying to go for here with Petrovsky. Try to play him up as, say, the massive version of Admiral Thrawn, working on behalf of the Elusive Man and Cerberus. What's your intel on the occupation? Petrovsky's army is massive and he's got Omega locked tight. The information stops there. So, you're winging it? Not at all. There are secrets on Omega only I know. Secrets that will provide us a foothold. I can tell you this, Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. He'll stop at nothing to win. Sounds familiar. Shepard, I know my reputation. I know I'm hated. I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the people were free. Their lives were theirs. I preserved that. This man took all that away and he is going to pay. When Omega is mine again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say, I want you all to myself. I love how she doesn't get specific with who she has objections to. I would really love to know who specifically on the Normandy does she object to. Coordinates to my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. AKA, don't talk to me about this in Purgatory. The fleet is hidden in this system. Signal me when you're on your way. Ari and I will meet you on the command ship. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Oh, you'll see, Bray. You'll see. But just, I want you guys to take a moment to consider. Imagine if they had Carrie Ann Moss uh, act, you know, play Trinity in some similar fashion to how she's allowed to play Arya here in this series. Like, just picture her playing Trinity as if she was playing Arya. I think that would have been very interesting and very entertaining. I, I could see Neo just looking at her at times just like, whoa, Trinity. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, Trinity. <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying. So yeah, this is uh, We Leave the Normandy and 
all of our squad behind. It's it's basically just we actually get Arya as a squad mate here. Um, so it's basically just gonna be our us and Arya the entire time. An assortment of vessels, warships, transports, and fighters flying under Arya's flag. So my weapons are fine, but we can go ahead and set up Arya here. Let's see. We show up with like weapons, and it's like, hey Arya, I got some weapons for you if you want them. She's like, oh, look at you. So considerate. How nice of you. I think she would use she could use the like any of the weapons provided by say the blood pack and such. Why wouldn't she? Shotgun. Let's see. Hmm. Let's have her use this. <laughs> I may have her just stick with the blood pack punisher, but I don't know. Maybe I'll have her use that for a bit. Now here comes the fun part. Sorting Arya's ability. So she has some pretty interesting and fun abilities here. She has flare, which is just kind of like a big biotic explosion. It's pretty crazy. She has reeve, which is something I believe Javik has also been using where you drain a target's health and disrupt their resistances. She has Carnage. You know, we've been seeing guys like uh, Vega using this. She has Lash. Lash onto enemies with the Biotic Lash to rip them off their feet, dealing moderate damage. And I'm... <laughs> I found myself wondering, is this Mass Effect's version of Scorpion's GET OVER HERE! <laughs> Could you just imagine Arya going, get over here! <laughs> and the biotic boss, because of course she is. Of course she's the boss. Just make her powers just wreck house. Ooh. Okay. Her own health and shield bonuses. Let's just make it a big, giant, you know, radius for the explosion. More damage over time, over 10 seconds. Nice, it has a dot on it. Huh. Okay. Yeah, let's give her Carnage. That, that seems very Arya. All right. We're outshipped four to one, and most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So you've commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess, you're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. A lot could go wrong. The assault's been planned for weeks, Shepard. For now, just sit back. Let me steer. Not the best start to our partnership, Arya. How things begin isn't nearly as important as how they end. Bray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. Head for the command ship. Crew 
user. I don't have you on the flight plan. Identify yourself. This is Captain Lentz. Run voice recognition. Alpha Tango Z. We took damage. Seeking repairs. Identity confirmed, Captain. Pulled for approach authorization. How did you get the Captain to say that? The hard way. <laughs> you don't want to know. That's right. Nice and slow. Be patient. Get as close as you can. Fire! Signal the fleet through the relay. We're through. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the general. Should be interesting. Put him through. Aria. I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Call it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, General. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard. I've heard great things about you. I can't say the same. The elusive man never brought you up. Not once while I was, uh, associated with him. Or should I say, using his resources. My partner here doesn't have much to say for you. She's not used to being defeated. It clouds her judgment. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. And Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Let's see what you've got, Oleg. End transmission. That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. What? Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. Probably. So reassuring. All systems failing! We can make it! Aria, don't be stupid. Sound the evac! Damn it! Program escape pods for the station! Let's go! Everyone out! There's no time! Guess that asshole really did upgrade Omega's outer defenses. So it would seem. I doubt he's the kind of guy who's going to bluff about these things. Hello, boys! The other escape pods made it. All right. What's our target? Need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's outer defenses so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be blown to bits like we were. Got it. This is what I brought you for. Ground assault. In combat, what you say goes. 
Really? And why am I skeptical at the idea that you're actually gonna do what I say? Arya relinquishing command? I'll believe it when I see it. I can be a team player, Commander. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. Alright then. I'm back, you fuckers. <laughs> Die! Whoops. Right. So that's what that uh, spike thrower weapon looks like. Let's have Arya change it up. Okay. Took out the main exit. Use the controls to lower the blast door. Over here, Shepard. Army intact, Gerald. That is your only job. You have one job. Tell your boss I'm coming for him. Team, report in. Bray, you there? Affirmative. But only six pods made it. Various entry points. Rally them to you, then head for the rendezvous hangar. Start prepping for our ships to land. Let's hustle. Every minute, more of my ships get obliterated out there. General notice, power fluctuations continuing. To stabilize, sectors 3, 14, and 15 are set for mandatory shutdown. All personnel to be reassigned. Hello. Oh, that doesn't look good. Getting close. Those cannons have to be stopped. Uh... I am seeing some possible texture issues here, because that doesn't look good at all. Ooh, I may need to do a uh, fresh reinstall after this part. Ooh, boy. Population control reports disturbance in District 5 quelled. All surviving inhabitants accounted for. Rampart units will be left on location in case of further security breaches.
Victory for Peace. Notice how they replace a lot of the advertisements here in Omega with Cerberus stuff. Also, apparently they're burning the furniture. The next area needs to be repressurized. Initiating. We were lucky. Press on. Lost two more transports. Can't keep up evasive maneuvers much longer. We're right outside the defense station. Hold tight. I'm concerned if that's an actual, like, bug or if that's some kind of compatibility issue. I don't really know what's causing that, but boy, does that, that doesn't look good. Oh my goodness. Charles, defenses are down. Signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. Hi. Approach trajectories plotted. We're already queuing up. Bray, come in. Status. Rendezvous site secured. Hangar door is enabled. We'll have them open soon. Need them open now. My birds are coming in. Prep for reception. What exactly is this rendezvous point? That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar and dock. Independent power source, life support, munitions. You'll see. Aria, look. Deploy to D-Deck. Investigate and await further instructions. See? He plays chess! So it begins. There's a good chance the General knows where we're going. Then no time for sightseeing. Bray, stay sharp. You might get visitors. Terrific. Take the far exit. I've locked down the way we came. Defense is down. Unrecoverable. Armor response initiative T-75. 
We're causing a stir. Good. Feels good to let loose. Hmm. Been sitting around in that club for a little too long. The Omega Skyline. Now I feel like I'm back. Strange. What are those things in the distance? Some kind of force field. That's not good. Failure to comply with Cerberus regulations will result in severe penalties. Some of my men. Getting close to the rendezvous. Let's move. I know that symbol. Looks like a gang tag. The Talons. They used to deface my property, too. Talent symbol again. Hmm. Could be evidence of a resistance. Might be useful. One of my soldiers by the force field. What the hell is he doing? Hi there. Max, take them out. There's actually multiple entries here that I didn't realize we had. Whoopsie. Uh, maybe we'll read those when we uh, are, are not the dealing with these things. Need to check out that force field. Over here, Shepard. Give me a moment. I'm looking for loot. Poor idiot. Something tells me these force fields are going to be a problem. Are we blocked? Not this time. Come here. This way.
What are you doing? Letting you in on a secret. Down the ladder. Who's there? Show yourself. Spirits, look who's back. Aria Talok. Nyreen, what the hell are you doing here? Playing cat and mouse, mostly. Just trying to stay alive. If it wasn't for these tunnels. My tunnels. I'm sure glad I showed them to you. If you hadn't, I'd be dead or locked up by now. So, remember that female Turian I mentioned? Arya doesn't trust easily. I guess you're a good friend. I don't know. Are we, Arya? Shepard, this is Nyrene Kandros, ex-Turian military. We go way back. I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Follow us, we'll get you to safety. I'll do my best. Ready to put that gun to good use? You have no idea how ready. So why are you back, Arya? To reclaim what's mine. Left something behind, I take it. Not something. Everything. So she has the Avenger. And the Predator. As far as her abilities, she has Incinerate, Overload, Biotic Protector, Lift Grenade, and Turian Huntress. Deploy a shield that protects against all damage at the expense of moving, shooting, or using powers while it is enabled. Hmm. Blast radius when deploying the shield. Bioprotector chance to not trigger a cooldown. Recharge speed, duration. Reduces incoming damage for 10 seconds after it expires. Deal more damage after the shield expires. Enemy out, lock it down now. Lower blast doors, lower the blast doors. Open the blast doors, open the blast doors. So, if you're not satisfied with uh, Nyrene's weapons, you can just go ahead and uh, give her uh, different weapons. So, we'll just go ahead and do that real quick. That's fine.
Why aren't the cannons online? We'll flank the enemy. Get them off you. You tell him, Arya. Tell your boss I'm coming for Sorry, those are Arya's people. General's forces at bay for a while. Let's get inside. Bunker team, retract the bridge and lower the blast door. We're coming in. Lock it down. Arya, I know this place is built like a fortress, but is it safe now that the general's clued in? Yeah. I feel like a sitting duck here. I have no intention of sitting around, and you both should know I assume nothing. And on that front, Nyrene, you left Omega fairly angry with me. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Explain yourself. The truth is, I never left. The fact I went to great lengths to keep from you. I'm not easily duped. Well done. But why? I just... couldn't leave. Considering all this, 
I wish I had. Well, you always said I'd be the death of you. Irene has military training. We can put her to good use. You're so quick to trust, huh, Shepard? And Irene never approved of Omega's, what did you call it? Moral bankruptcy? Are you willing to help defend it now? You'll find me very willing to liberate this station. Your combat skills seem a little rusty, but you're still a good shot. See my duty, officer. Bray, keep an eye on her. Will do. All right, Shepard, we need to move fast. I'm itching for revenge. If you think I'm gonna let you carve a bloody path through this campaign, you're sadly mistaken. And if you think you're going to change me, well, you're welcome to try. Once up and running, this bunker will provide recon and secret access to much of the station. I'd appreciate it if you would quickly eyeball operations, see that things are setting up smoothly. What will you be doing? Checking in on my forces. I need to know how many survived the assault before I can plan the attack. It won't take long. Join me at the command console when you're ready. All right. So we now have a little hub here and we'll be going through it when we return. Stay tuned.